Instituto de Avance Integral Latino, also known as Ideal CDC, was started about four years ago. And the vision of Ideal CDC is to transform our community, not just here in East Los Angeles, but the surrounding communities as well. But we wanted to do something more for the community. We saw that there was a lot of poverty. We saw that there was a lot of small business owners, people wanting to buy homes, and kids wanting to go to college. And so we decided to put together a program that would incorporate the whole family. So we have a program for the kids being in high school, getting ready for college to make sure that they can afford that. And then also for the parents to make sure that they're really managing their finances well and helping them pay off as much debt and save as much money as we possibly can over that long period of time. It was really fun and it was a learning experience for me working with the students because I myself am a student in college and I see the need that there is out there for these students. We've had one family that went from having zero savings to having $5,000 in savings in just over an eight-month period. Uh, we've had other families that have paid off multiple credit cards that previously were spending more than they were making. So great to see that every student that's been part of our program is going to a university debt-free. And It's just amazing to me to see that we are doing that an Ideal Wealth Academy with the little help that we're getting, we are doing such a huge impact and I thank the people who are helping us. My name is Andy Machik. I live in a family of five and out of all my family members, I'm the first to go to college. I came here to this country because my uncle passed away here and since they were going to do the funeral here, I decided to come to America. I am originally from Guatemala and I came here because of the poor living situation but there was also a lot of persecution happening in Guatemala and I came to America to escape all of that. I want to go to college because seeing both of my parents like struggle because they're immigrants. By me going to college I feel like I would be able to help them financially and fulfill their dream that they have for me. I'm very proud of him because that was one of my dreams of becoming a college grad. But seeing that my son is working towards that goal, it is a great privilege and brings so much joy to my heart. And I wanna thank God for my son. I have three sons, but Andy is the first one that really pushes himself to achieve a higher level of education. And I am so grateful, first to God, and I feel so proud to have a son like Andy. I heard of Avance Latino through my pastor. He advised me to join the program, and so I followed his advice, and I did. There was this one class that I remember in particular. There was three worksheets. They were aimed to like help me look for a specific career that I would be interested. Like going to college, I'm very confused about what, like what I want for me in the future, and that kind of helped guide me into like what I like and what I don't like. What we learned from this program is that we should always ask for help because in our case, my husband had problems with his credit. Jason really helped us with that problem and we are both grateful because I know that required a lot of time from Jason to help us get out of that mess. We were able to fix and take control of our finances. We both made the time and effort to come and to be honest, we enjoyed it because not only did they help us, but they also helped my son. Thank you. My name is Stephanie Tax. I'm 17 and I live in downtown Los Angeles. My dad and mom own two businesses. One is a sewing um, company and right now they're currently opening up a restaurant. I came here to America at the age of 20. During that time, my wife was pregnant and that was the main reason why I came here because I had to offer a better future to my wife and son. Um, in the beginning of the program, I was unsure what I wanted to you know, follow through in college, but through like the workshops and you know people speaking to us, I really got you know, um, a sure response about what I wanted to do, which made me more confident about myself. Through programs like this, me as a mother, I feel like I've matured and it makes me so happy to see our kids growing with new information and correct information. I know our daughter and both of us have matured a lot through this program. If I went to college, um, it would mean a lot to my parents, um, considering the fact that they're immigrants, they didn't have great choices and opportunities here, and me being able to be successful would just mean everything to them. A lot of parents say, no, kids from high school, they would never graduate because they are lazy. But us, like a family, like parents who are undocumented, 
We have taught our kids that yes, you can do it, and anything is possible. I want to go to college because I want to pursue my family's dream. In the beginning, I wanted to go into computer engineering because that was my brother's dream. But because of his illegal status, he couldn't continue going into college. And then I started seeing my parents struggling in business. So then it got me interested in the business world to help them expand their business. My name is Amy Bustamante. Both of my parents are from Guatemala. My mother migrated from there when she was about 18 years old, and my dad as well. Personally, it was very tough coming to America. I had to depend on my own. Back in Guatemala, I had my parents that would provide me with everything. And here, it was all on me. For me, it was really tough to leave my family. Even though back in Guatemala, I was used to working from a very young age, but coming to a different country that is so different to yours with different customs, it is really tough to start your new life here. For me to go to college would mean the world to my parents because that is one of their goals and I accomplished it. And being the oldest out of all my siblings would make me a great role model. I am very happy because she is the first girl, first generation from my family that is going to graduate high school. She has been very obedient and she is a person that is doing their homework, always worried about getting better and always pushing herself. Emotionally, it is sad that she's going to separate from us, but at the same time, very happy to see her start a new chapter in her life. One thing that I learned from Ideal Wealth Academy was how to properly respond to CSU and UC questions. My top three schools that I applied to were USC, UCLA, and Cal Poly Pomona, mostly because they were prestigious colleges and they had really nice campuses. This program has helped us with our finances on how to manage and save our money. And thanks to God, we are already applying it in our life. Personally, Durima challenged us to save our money for five months so we can reach a goal of $5,000. And I am happy and grateful to God to say we were able to save those $5,000. The, the kids here come from backgrounds that most of us, you know, have, would have no idea what they've experienced coming through living in East LA and other parts of LA um, where the schools and the high schools are just packed. And so working with some of these kids was just so rewarding. They grew up in communities that college wasn't even an option, or it wasn't something that was attainable, but they broke those stereotypes and are now gonna be going to some of the top universities in this country. The biggest thing that I'm grateful for is that being part of Ideal City C, we're seeing a huge impact in the community. And I love being part of the team because we're growing together as a team and we're growing in our impact in the community. So our goals for the future of Ideal Wealth Academy are not only just to serve the local community here in East LA, but also to bring it to other areas. Um, our big push this year is to just get the funding we need so that we can provide the jobs, we can provide the support, we can provide the ongoing assistance and you know materials that we need because we've proven that the stuff we're doing works. We've done it on a smaller scale than we want to do, um, but now it's time for us to expand that out. So we invite you to be part of this journey with us. If it wasn't for you, our sponsors, our funders, and also all of you that volunteer to make this happen, we would not be able to achieve this. So we definitely want to thank our partners that have came out this year. The hours or two here or there that you come out and teach a class on financial capability, you teach a class on how to get a small business loan, I don't think you may realize, but the impact you have by coming and spending an hour or two teaching a class, this information sticks with people and we hear the positive impact it's having in our communities. We're very thankful and we're grateful for all the support and the sponsorship. Being able to transform the community has been a huge impact for us. So I just want to say thank you to all the sponsors, to all the help, to all the people who have believed in us, we thank you.